Hey, welcome back to the Side Goggle and Jack channel. So here's another odd topic for an everyday carry channel, coffee. Uh, there's one item that I will absolutely turn my truck around and come back to the house if I forget, and that's my coffee. I'll leave flashlights and pocket knives and whatever at the house, and I'll pick them up later, but I ain't leaving without my coffee. So uh, here's my coffee. I use an AeroPress coffee maker, had this for 10, years. Bought it in 2014. So I was an early adopter to these. And uh, we've used it backpacking. We've used it bike touring. I uh, used it traveling in hotel rooms and all kinds of places. Here recently, we've started uh, just using it here at home. We have a really nice automatic drip coffee maker, uh, but that makes more of an acidic coffee that really kind of upsets my stomach if I drink too much of it. This will make a really, really strong cup of coffee, but it's really smooth. And it's worth the little bit of effort that you have to put into it. I know it's more convenient just to set the drip coffee maker, set the timer, wake up in the morning and you've got coffee. But for me, it's worth it getting um, just a little better quality of coffee every morning. And uh, here it is, here's my coffee. AeroPress uh, comes, or it came 10 years ago, I'm sure it still does, with a stuff sack. It comes with a funnel, and this funnel is shaped the same size as the tube that you use to press your coffee. So you could press into a cup that's got a smaller uh, diameter opening. Uh, but I use this to pour my coffee in without making a mess. It comes with a paddle, and the paddle is made so that you can't scrape the filter. So when you're stirring your coffee grounds, uh, use this instead of a spoon so that you don't knock a hole in your filter and get coffee in your coffee. Uh, comes with, of course, the basket here and a plunger. And it's pretty simple method uh, after you um, get the hang of it. Oh, also comes with a little scooper and it comes with filters. And these little filters are um, uh, the same diameter as the basket, obviously, and they're not that expensive. You can get a package of 150 for like five dollars, and they'll last a long time. Uh, having a gooseneck uh, kettle helps because you're pouring and aiming toward that little diameter there, uh, and this is really precise. You can really pour right where you need to pour it. And I just made a mess. There's water in here, and uh, let's make a cup of coffee. Right, we'll get our water heated up and I'll start by putting a filter in the basket. Some people will rinse the filter uh, because they claim they can taste the paper in the filter. <laughs> I can't taste the paper. It just tastes like coffee to me. And I'm going to go ahead and add my creamer just to save time. I'm waiting on the water. Or we'll do it. And I'm not using fancy coffee. I'm not weighing it. I like a heaping spoonful or a heaping scoopful. Oop, hang on. There's what that funnel's for. And give it a little shake, a little tap, just to level out the ground so that there's no uh, filter exposed, so the water doesn't just shoot through there. And there we go, hot water. And here comes the tricky part. <laughs> I like to turn the tube so that I get uh, all of the grounds good and wet. And then it's a pretty big cup, so I'm going to fill this thing up with water. Give it a stir with my paddle. Put my paddle on a paper towel. Stick this plunger just a little bit in there and wait for a minute to two minutes. No need to be exact about it <laughs> uh, for me. You may want to weigh everything out. And grind your beans and all this. Um, I'm not doing that at 5.30 in the morning. 
There's also a method uh, called the inverted method where you make this kind of upside down. And that way, none of the water drips out while you're stirring it that initial time. Uh, I don't do that because I don't want to clean up a mess at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I'm doing this. I can't taste the difference. It tastes great to me, just like this. So um, we will get back in a minute and a half. Okay, I'm going to give this another little stir. I'm going to top it off with water again because I know my cup can hold it. And then we push. Don't push too hard. Push uh, slow. If you go too hard, too fast, you will uh, squirt coffee over the top of the filter basket and then make a mess. So just about like that. Just the weight of your hands and a little bit more is all it takes. Okay, that's it. I'm going to add a little bit more water because this is really a strong cup of coffee. I'll clean up my mess and I'm out the door.